All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to a Mossed Hip Hop video. And in today's video, yeah, Young Dolph's um, both his killers, they both deserve life in prison. It's something where when this whole, because even when the situation, when they very first came out, I still remember that day, too. I was out, and I remember I was at a, um, a bus station, and then I pulled my phone up, you know, or pulled it out just to scroll through social media, and I seen Young Dolph's name trending. And then when I clicked and seen that he was shot and killed, I'm like, man. And I just immediately had knew that I guarantee and I promise you it has something to do with the beef that he was involved in. Because it's like, besides the beef that he was involved in, why would anybody else have a reason to take out Young Dolph? You know, and it, the fact that it got to that point where you had to talk it on, because uh, I guess so, for those that haven't really been following the case, so I guess sometime before Young Dolph's death, um, Yo Gotti, a rapper that Young Dolph um, had beef with. So yeah, let's actually talk on that. So I guess at one point in time, Yo Gotti and Young Dolph were like, they were cool with one another. I don't know if they, if they were the best of friends, because I imagine if you good friends with somebody, you ain't gonna, you know, put them in a situation where it's like you, they get shot at multiple times. But anyways, I guess they were cool with each other at one point in time. Um, Yo Gotti wanted Young Dolph to sign to his record label. Yo, um, Young Dolph, he said, no, he's like, I want to just, you know, be my own person. And I, um, at some point in time, start his record label, which is what um, he ended up doing. So you would think like, okay, it just ends there. Like there ain't no reason to, you know, say anything about each other, do anything to. But so I guess um, Young Dolph, he came out with an album um, called uh, uh, King of Memphis. And Yo Gotti got upset about that because I guess he called himself the King of Memphis. And it's like, does it really matter? Like, honestly, the only person that is the King of Memphis is, what, the government? People that actually have some sort of ownership from Memphis? Just because you're from Memphis doesn't mean you got ownership of Memphis, all right? It's like, if you own property out there, yes, you own property out there. Them the only properties that you own. And it's something like that. I just feel like that there has to be a deeper meaning behind it. Because if my thing is this, if... And that's something that I have said before, that I'm um, the hardest working content uh, con yeah, content creator from uh, Seattle or in Seattle. If somebody else decides that they're the hardest content creator in Seattle, I'm like, okay, if they are, they are. I'm not going to argue with them over that. Maybe they're probably doing something more than I am. But I'm not going to let it get to a point where it's like, oh, I'm having my uh, siblings do my dirty work or having friends of mine do my dirty work. It's pointless. It's, it, at the end of the day, it is pointless, all right? So, and I wouldn't expect somebody to look at me and get upset because I caught myself that. But anyway, so, Yo Gotti gets upset. And then uh, one thing led to another where uh, there was um, the first occasion where Young Dolph, somebody tried to uh, take his life. So I think he was um, leaving the show. And I think at this time, like, um, uh, like the music, like, yeah, the music now. Had, well, I mean, the music kind of did was already involved, but I guess more so talking on like diss tracks and stuff. I think at that time, um, Young Dolph did uh, do a diss track. And then that's what really escalated the situation. If not that, then it was just things that were being said. But regardless, the first time somebody tried to take Young Dolph's life, and luckily at that time being, he was in a bulletproof um, SUV. But yeah, there was like, I think it was uh, Black Youngster, where I think they said allegedly he was one of the shooters or knew the shooters, whatever the situation is. But anyways, um, but yeah, overall though, yeah, Young Dolph's um, car got shot up a bunch of different times. Then the second time, I think they say he was at a mall. And this was, again, like, you know, and it was associates of... Uh, um, I believe it was Black Youngster and some associates of his, or it was uh, Yo Gotti. Regardless, it was uh, somebody that knew Yo Gotti, all right? But anyways, then the second time, it was uh, a friend, I believe, of uh, Yo Gotti's, where I think um, Young Dolph, I think he was, he was leaving a mall or something. I don't know the exact details, but yeah, I think he was leaving um, a mall or a store, and then somebody um, just, yeah, came up out the woodworks and then um, um, shot him. And so luckily, you know, thank God he survived that. Then this third time around, it was like, it was just something where I'm like, bro, you, you, I, you know, I'm going to give out some advice to rappers and stuff towards the end of this video. But yeah, anyways, continuing on, then yeah, the third time is what ended up, um, you know, sadly ended up taking Young Dolph's life. So, uh, yeah, I guess, you know, the court, uh, situation, it all started and one, I think he was the shooter that killed Young Dolph's cause I, you know, for those that don't want to watch the video, um, I'm not going to explain it in a graphic way, but I am going to explain it in a way where you get a better understanding of it. Because I can understand if you don't want to watch no security videos. Unfortunately, I ended up seeing the security videos. And yeah, it's a it's a video I wouldn't recommend you watching because you 
can see some stuff and i yeah i just it's anything that you can't avoid avoid it but anyways so there were two shooters that were um there and that's i'm uh, obviously you know it's been with this whole court case and with the arrest and all that stuff or i guess like maybe people hadn't really been following it but yeah there were two shooters um there was uh one shooter with an assault rifle and one shooter with a pistol the shooter with the assault rifle is the one that opened fired first and he ended up killing a uh, young dog and then the second shooter he came up and yeah he let off some shots too but it was uh yeah it was the um the first guy that ended up killing young Dolph. where i believe he's the one that's like telling all the stuff in the um court um in the courtroom or maybe it's the accomplice regardless overall though somebody is overall cooperating with the uh courtroom and the cops and all that stuff and they're telling them um, off all and i because I, I i'm following the case but i don't know who's who you know i don't know who's the one but just yeah one of the killers is overall cooperating so but, uh, yeah, he did come out and say that, that it was Yo Gotti's brother that put out a bounty on, um, Young Dolph's head, a $100,000 bounty, and then, uh, yeah, I guess he wanted that bounty, so that's why he did what he did, just for him to get $500 one day and $300 the other day, so instead of getting, so that's what he was gonna do, was that he was going to, uh, get, um, 40000 and then the, uh, other shooter is gonna get 40000 I guess they were gonna give, uh, um, the extra money to some people that were, I guess, also involved in the whole situation, and then, um, yeah, then they were just gonna go on their way, but yeah, he only, I don't know what everybody else got, but he only got $800 out of the whole situation, and then, I think it was in the beginning of this year, um, Yo Gotti's brother, um, Big Juke Juke, whatever his name is, he uh, ended up getting shot and killed himself. And I'm like, man, I'm telling you, people, it's like you you need to really start living right. Because I'm like, I'm saying you put people in other situations over something petty. Like, come on now. It's something where it's like you have to understand that you can't you cannot live a normal life carrying on like that. You know, it's like and if my thing is this, if you're immune to that type of stuff, if you're I guess like if well i i don't know maybe because with this guy the guy that uh um killed young duff i he i it was either him or the other shooter one of the shooters was all like oh they didn't feel nothing when they uh shot at young duff and it's stuff like that it's like okay you might not feel nothing i i'm not even gonna call myself the biggest young duff fan but i did know of some of his music i did save some of his music and i would say i was a, a fan to an extent i wasn't the biggest fan like going to his shows and all this other stuff but i was a fan to an extent and it's like, I even have felt a way when I heard that he died, you know? So it's like, you're affecting people that are not even a fan of him. And I can only imagine his friends, um, family, and his fans, like all his supporters, it's like how they overall feel. You might not feel nothing, but that doesn't mean everybody else is going to feel the same exact way. And then it's like, then yeah, you're doing this to get money for your daughter's birthday. And it's like, okay, now your daughter is going to have to grow up without a, uh, a dad. So it's something where it's like, you really have to sit down and think, was it worth it? Was it really worth it? Even if you did get the $100,000, you just took another man's life. And it's like, yeah, you'll, the thing is this. You'll be able to enjoy that money. you get yourself clothes, get yourself whatever it is that you want to get. But it's like right when you get arrested, all that stuff, gone, gone. The only thing you're going to get issued is a prison jumpsuit and then whatever else that you do get in prison but other than that it's like all that stuff gone so it's like do you really get to enjoy that money do you really get to enjoy the things that you end up doing and buying with that money and it's like yeah if you put all that money uh to your daughter to your family it's like i i know um myself i wouldn't want to have stuff where it was um given to me because somebody had to get killed behind it i wouldn't want that so it's like that that's something where it's like fam you know you really yeah he the killer wasn't the killers both of them they both wasn't thinking and um it, it's just unfortunate that young Dolph had to lose his life behind this whole situation but yeah you know you just got people out there where it's like they you know but and that's what i wanted to uh talk on not so much as rappers but just like you know your average just person and stuff somebody where it's like you think that it's okay to rob and kill somebody and stuff. And even um, Fat Joe himself said it where it's all like, yeah, rob the person, but don't kill him. You know, and it's like I would in, in a situation where it's all like because I think they did say Young Dolph has some stuff on him. And it's like, yeah, I'm, and people were saying that. that Yeah, it's like you. My thing is this. You got two guns drawn on you. All you just got to do is just give up the stuff that you have. And it's like, yeah, so what if I get dissed on social media and all this other stuff? At least I still got my life. All right. But. And the thing is, is this, that you have to understand, robbing people, 
that's not going to get you far in life. You know, it's not. It's going to help you out for that initial moment. And then after that, now you got to go out and rob another person. And let's just say, let's just say if Young Dolph expected somebody to rob him. Like he felt like something was off, something was, you know, weird. Or he had a gun and he started shooting back. Now both of you guys is fighting for your life. And it's like, yeah, you know, well, yeah, sadly Young Dolph died. But it's like, let's say it's a situation. Because I know they, um, I believe it was uh, his brother that was with them too. And he did return fire. And it's like, yeah, let's say one of those guys, um, or yeah, let's say Young Dolph's brother would have killed you so it's like you don't even get to enjoy the money so it's like really is it worth it you really at the end of the day don't know what a person got going on you know more so saying like you don't know what they have on you young dog could have very well been armed and strapped himself and then it's like he returns fire and then it's like now the thing is is this he done killed you young dog survives and now that all he just has is more uh music material so it's one of those things where it's like people you really have to sit down and think about it. There are so many different ways to earn your money the legit way. Get a job. Start a business. I'm saying it's like to me, it's you know, the thing is, is this. And yes, I have had my struggling moments. I have fam. I'm like, there have been moments where I have been broke. I had no money to my name. I had absolutely nothing. And it's something where it's like, I think of those days where I'm all like, man, what am I going to do? The only thing that I can do where it's not going to land me into a world of trouble where it's like now my family got to write me letters or talk to me on visiting day or, you know, or it might be a situation where it's like they visiting my grave because it's like, let's say whatever I did decide to do that was going to land me in the world of trouble. It's like it backfired or let's say it's a situation where I done killed the wrong somebody. Now I'm on death row and then they're all like, we ain't going to wait no years to no, we're going to execute him right then and there. You know, and so it's like, it's a situation where it's like, now they got to visit me on my, um, at my grave. Yeah, it's stuff like that I don't want to deal with. I'm like, my thing is, is this, with Young Dog, with everybody, people deserve to grow old. That's when they leave this world, when they grow. I'm not saying rob them when they're old, but I'm just saying people deserve to leave this world on their own time. Not on your time, not on, no, on their own or on God's timing. But it's like, I just felt like that young Dolph, he still had a lot to do with his life. And it's like, you guys took that away for $100,000. And it's like, yeah, okay, you guys get the money. And it's something where it's, and it's something where, no, I mean, like, yeah, it, overall, um, you know, people, it's like you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Because I think from what I heard that there were a lot of people on the other side that were getting killed themselves. And so then, of course, um, the man that put out the bounty, uh, Big Juke Juke, whatever his name is, he ended up getting killed early on this. I think it was in the beginning of this year where, um, yeah, they say he was leaving a funeral and then somebody just showed up and got the shooting and stuff. And so he ended up, um, I think, yeah, he was the intended target, but... Yeah, it's just one of those things where it's like, it, it's just, it's messed up. Cause you know, it's like everybody deserves to grow old. And it's like, and then you shouldn't allow some petty rap beef to get you that upset to where you need to take somebody's life or you need to put a bounty on their head. And it's like, fam, it shouldn't be. And it's like, my thing is this. You shouldn't be doing another man's life. You struggling that much, then you need to go out and get you a job. I imagine that there's, a, and the thing is, is this, you being a convicted felon, you're all like, oh, well, places ain't hiring. Because like, let, yeah, let's just say if that is a situation where it's like you're a convicted felon and then it's hard for you to get a job, there's something out there, then start your own business. I'm like, start a business where it can help out other convicted felons. But I'm like, I'm saying though, it shouldn't be a situation where, now, it's like, because I, it, honestly, though, sit down, sit down and think about this, you know, because I'm an idea man. I like to, you know, have ideas. Let's say you were to do that, right? Let's say you were to do some sort of business where, let's say it's a cleaning business. Let's say it's like, you know, you just go around Memphis and uh, you just clean, but it's a business for convicted felons, right? So, yeah, let's say it's like, you know, like, uh, yeah, they just, you guys go around, you clean up people's homes you clean up like areas around homes you clean up streets you clean up any and everywhere right so let, let, let's just say because i young Dolph, he it ain't even somewhere i could say he came off he was a giving man i guarantee and i promise you i feel like that young Dolph definitely would have made a donation to your guys especially if it's blowing up and skyrocketing yeah let's say young Dolph is still alive to this day and you have that business going on for yourself and you're all like man you know you're happy with where you're at you're all like man this is the best possible life that i could have right now out of nowhere young Dolph, he comes through and he's all like i'm gonna donate a million dollars to you guys y'all do whatever you want to do to this money i want to improve this business i want to promote this business you know so it's something where it's like fam 
there's so many different you might not want to do nothing like that but i would rather do something like that than to be spending the rest of my life in prison so i'm saying it's like people there are other ways you gotta you can sit down and make money but killing somebody for a bounty or for whatever they have on them it's not worth it it's really not worth it especially if you don't even get to enjoy any of that stuff and i know people are gonna be all like oh well you could get away if you no there ain't no in this day and age there ain't no possible way you could get away i had the same i feel like people were probably saying the same thing with pop smoke there was like because i think they did say that that it was um difficult to find out who the killers were and they just and they probably just knew that they were going to get away and now look all of them behind prison same with uh the people that killed uh xxx tentacion i'm trying to think of some other robberies that um done went down and stuff i'm saying it's one of those things where it's all like you know people uh pnb rock and it's all like you know it's like people are getting caught nowadays so it's some it's something where you have to sit down and think about it get a nine to five or start a business and then you ain't got to worry about like the thing is this you ain't ever got to worry if you get a job or you um and i'm saying it's a legitimate job or you start a legitimate business you will never have to worry about the cops being on you at any given point in time you could go out and about and you ain't got to worry because i'm like that's the type of life that i love living where i ain't got to worry about going outside and getting arrested for you know because of some crime i'm committed and then yeah then there's that lifestyle where it's like you living in a world of crime and it's like fam you ain't got to be that person you know, so I'm saying it's like there's other ways of, um, you know, doing things. But, yeah, it's just, you know, yeah, with this guy, it's like you ended up having to learn the hard way. So now it's like now it's going to be a situation where it's like you ain't going to be able to like, yeah, it's like if your daughter decides to she'll visit you around or on her birthday. So, you know, you can talk with her and stuff, but it can't be a situation where you're there because I would my thing is this rather than that, I would rather actually be there even if I if I ain't got no money to and I'm like that I feel like that's way more important to a kid than you giving a kid a gift is you being there for that kid so it's somewhere it's like fam yeah you definitely wasn't thinking all you were just thinking about was um was the money and it's like you can't put that on your daughter man like oh I was doing it for my daughter you know how many birthdays your daughter is gonna have I'm saying it's one of those things where it's like, bro, your daughter is going to have like uh, all the way up until you leave this world. She's going to be having a lot of birthdays. You could have very well went down to a field and got her some flowers. You could have got her some cheap toy at the dollar store. I'm saying it's like I'm, you could do any and everything's for her. But it's like now you ain't going to be able to do none of that stuff. Because you want to go around and kill people to uh, either to rob them or for bounties it's it's somewhere i'm like man people y'all gotta really sit down and think about stuff but anyways uh yeah you know rest in peace young Dolph. it's really unfortunate that he ain't here with us and we gotta listen to his music in a way where he ain't here like that's that's like one thing like as um soon as this case started i i had to say i never had an issue with listening to young Dolph's music but it's like now just hearing the details it's like it's hard because i just feel bad you know it's like it's like a like listening to his music and i just feel depressed now you know, so it's just, yeah, it's really messed up that you just got people out there that's living like that. But anyways, um, yeah, with that being said, I will talk to y'all later, though. Thank you guys for watching and peace.